hasn't called? No. And you know, I get it. He's some big, important doctor, but I mean, come on, enough already. He could be in surgery. Fine. Look, don't get mad at me. I'm the one who needs him to call back. I'm sorry, Noah. You know, my mother said that his waiting list is a year long. Finally. Yes, hello. Oh, no, you don't need to call me Mr. Snyder. Luke is fine if... Mr. Snyder, my staff informs me that you've called close to three dozen times. <laughs> yes, yes, um... I have. I'm calling about Noah Mayer. I've seen his file. You have? Great. Uh, when do you think you can get to Oakdale for a consultation? Um, let me see. How about, um... Never? I'm sorry? Do you have any idea who I am? Who... Yes, yes. That's why we're contacting you, Dr. Oliver. What makes you think that I could just drop everything and fly out to, uh... Yeah, where the hell is Oakdale? Uh... Illinois? I... I... Well, we could come to you. You seem to think that I have the time of day for you, and I'm curious as to why. Um... I... I booked solid for a year. Well... We could double your fee, and as I said, we could come to you. You trying to buy me? No. I... <laughs> I don't need your money, and I don't want your case. May I ask why? It bores me to tears, just like you're doing right now. Here's a question I know you all ask yourselves. Is it possible after a breakup to stay friends with your ex? But maybe the more important question is why would you want to? What are you trying to prove? Say you agree to something innocent like lunch, then the check comes. Do you offer to pay? Say you should split it. Pay it. No. Gives you the opportunity of showing him that you don't need him for anything, including the check. Really? Well, who knew? Me, apparently. You've got to be kidding me. What? You still have the price tag on your suit. Oh. I know, I know. I'm just leaving on to see if I like it. What do you need a suit for? Uh, Casey and Allison's wedding. Valentine's Day is less than a month away. Oh, no. No, no. No, that was really, it. really stupid. I'm... No, actually, what's really, really stupid is that I might be going to the wedding, too. Yeah, it's uh, gonna make for another excellent blog entry. Um, going to your ex-boyfriend's wedding on Valentine's Day. Emotional suicide or way to be a stalker. I hear you. Yeah. you know, everybody who's single feels like a loser on Valentine's Day. It's... He just hung up on you? Yeah. You should have heard the arrogant son of a... Look, Noah. I am not giving up, so you can't either, okay? You know what? If this guy is impossible to deal with and he's unwilling to work with us, we'll find another doctor to do the surgery. There's nobody else. Are you 100% sure of that? Yes. I did my research at the clinic. If I can't get Dr. Oliver, then this surgery's not happening. Well, Dr. Oliver it is, then. He just hung up on you, Luke. So, look, thank you for trying, but he's my only chance. Find another surgeon. Mom, you are Noah. He's done the research. Well, has he done the research worldwide or just here in the States? You know what I'm saying? If there's anybody that can call in a favor on something like this, it's Damien. Okay. But I don't want to mention it to Noah until we know for sure. I don't want him to keep getting his hopes up. Okay. Noah, um, are you going to be okay here by yourself for a little bit? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, because my mom and I have a, a meeting at Worldwide. I'm not going anywhere. Okay. We'll talk soon? Yeah, whatever. I didn't mean you were a loser. I already knew that, but thank you for the clarification. I meant we're all losers. That is not what I meant. That came out wrong. Yeah, always does, Hunter. I know. It's, it's like I, I say the opposite of what I mean. It's like I, I try to say one thing and then the opposite comes out. But you are not a loser, and that did not come out backwards. You mean opposite? Right. Ooh. 
Well, do you like, do you like the suit? I mean, not for what I said I bought it for, but do you, do you like it in general? Uh, it's a little baggy. It is? Mm-hmm, yep, but I figure you have so much hot air inside of you that it'll just fill out on its own. Uh, ha-ha, retaliation, <laughs> I like that. Can I take you out to lunch to make up for being a bonehead? Sure. Excellent. Yes, but not today. I have to go meet with an ex to talk about my vlog. Casey? No, no, Noah, Mayor. You went out with Noah Mayor? Yes, I did. Isn't he gay? He is now. Ah, oh, so you're the one who turned him. It was a joke on purpose. Mm, lucky. He had an accident, uh, right? He's blind now or something. Yeah, or something. So let me get this straight. You're going to see your gay, blind ex-boyfriend about being friends for the vlog. Do you hear yourself? what I do? Just quit while you're not ahead. Done. Oh, and you're gonna need a tie, but, um, not stripes. Hello? Who's this? Your pet monkey's not here right now. Meg, I hope your attendant, Mr. Sharky, is taking good care of you. We both know who Mr. Sharky is taking care of, Damien. <laughs> you think your money could buy you whatever you want? But that's not always the case, is it? I know what you're talking about. You think you could keep me in here like this? I pay them to keep me put away. You're not making any sense. <laughs> I am. And they're going to know it soon enough. Now, when they do let me out, you know what happens next, don't you? I told you never to threaten me again, and yet you... Damien! Who's on the phone? I'm sorry you get to hear that. Damien, who's threatening you? <laughs> it's just more of a power play, really. It's just... My ship here in Sweden is holding a freighter in port. It's, just... it's business as usual. Nothing for you to be concerned with. What brings you to here? I need your help. What happened? Do you remember that doctor I told you about, the, the specialist that Noah kept mentioning? The one he thinks can perform the uh, surgery to help him see again, yeah. Yeah, well, I spoke with him. And? He won't take Noah's case. Well, then offer him more money. Whatever he wants, it's not a problem. I did, he still refused. I don't think that we should be going away right now. What? Why? No, 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 Lily, I, I already reserved the room at the inn near Fate's school. We're all set. Yeah, and our son is dealing with a very serious situation with his boyfriend. This isn't the time to take a vacation. Oh, no, I feel really bad. I, I really don't want you guys to change your plans because of us. We're not going to change anything. Damien. Lily, listen to me, please. I, uh, I'll handle this, all right? Well, why don't you go and get all the stuff we have to get for our faith? Huh? And I'll see what I can do for Luke and Noah. You want me to go now? Yes, yes, don't worry. I'll handle this. I'll take care of it. We won't go if you need us. I'm sorry. I'm just so desperate about Noah. Just tell me what you need and I'll make it happen. Well, Mom thought that maybe you could help find another doctor. Maybe somebody overseas. I can make a few calls. Yeah, but that's the thing. Noah has his heart set on this one guy, this Dr. Oliver. He's done his research and he has all his hopes on him. Yeah, but he says he doesn't want to take on the case. Yeah, he said it bored him. That's new. No. And money didn't seem to sway him either. How do I get this guy to change his mind? That's simple, son. Oh, I'm glad you think so. I know so. Make him an offer he can't refuse. <laughs> <laughs>